This is FYI News 13, brought to you by SSP-TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. For your information, there's a celebration going on in downtown Hazleton. We'll let you know why you should stop by next. Happy Friday, everyone. Actually, happy second Friday. I'm Ken Cara, and this is FYI. We begin our show with headlines from FYI News 13 and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Hazleton police were called to the area of Fulton Court and Hemlock Street for a report of a man lying in the street unconscious. It happened just after 2 this morning. They found a 36-year-old man with injuries to his face. The victim was transported by APTS to Lehigh Valley Hospital in Hazleton and then flown to Geisinger, Wyoming Valley's trauma unit. Police are not releasing the victim's name at this time and they ask anyone who may have information to contact Hazleton City Police via 911 and all information will be kept strictly confidential. Downtown Hazleton is getting turned on every second Friday of the month starting today. What will now be known as Second Friday began early this morning with a farmer's market and continues until late this evening. Lisa Sugard has the details. Downtown Hazleton is officially turned on. This is the first ever Second Friday event taking place in the downtown and it's a collaborative project of the Downtown Hazleton Alliance for Progress, the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce and Power. Two of the ladies making this possible are joining me right now to my left is Mary Malone who is the president of the chamber and also we are here today uh, to talk with Krista Schneider who is the executive director of the Alliance so Krista are you happy things seem to be going quite well yes very happy uh, the farmers market is is doing really well we moved it from Saturdays to uh, I mean yeah from Saturdays to Friday hoping to attract more of the business uh, community and it's working out pretty well we're pretty pleased and we also see lots of goodies around here. Yep. We hear lots of music in the background. Yep, yep. we have um, music in our new flash park uh, that kind of came together very quickly. Uh, and uh, we're happy for that. In fact, any musicians that want to come down and play any Friday uh, during the farmer's market from 10 to 2, they're welcome to come. Uh, we have uh, some new vendors, some vendors that have been with us for a couple of years. So we're, we're pretty pleased. Well, it looks really fantastic. And Mary, you're no stranger to the downtown. You're new at the head of the chamber. But what do you think of all this? How excited are you? You know what, Lisa? It has been great today. Not only have God blessed us with good weather and lots of new folks, but it's been fun to see the downtown business folks come out for lunch, walk through with the vendors, and then sit down and enjoy some entertainment. So this is what it's all about, friends meeting friends and coming out and to support businesses in the downtown area. So every Friday, 10 to do from now all the way through August 29th. So enjoy your summer lunchtime on a Friday down here with us. Okay, so the downtown farmer's market is every Friday, but the second Friday that incorporates some other festivities we're going to talk about now, that's going to happen once a month, and this is the first time for all of that. So for people getting out of work now at 5 o'clock and everything, what's going on tonight in downtown? Right, well, from 5.30 to 8.30, we're going to have music here again. Um, it'll be a DJ we'll have uh, with Mike Sosar, and we will have trivia. Uh, so a little bit of, you know, fun games for people to play. And then uh, a lot of the businesses downtown uh, are going to be open, you know, later maybe than usual. And uh, some of them are going to be running promotions, sidewalk sales, or handing out food samples, that sort of thing. And then at 9 o'clock, uh, we have the movie at the Markle, which is going to be the Lego movie that's free. Uh, it's outdoors here, and uh, people are encouraged to just bring their own chair, you know, picnic blanket or something like that, um, snacks, and uh, it'll be very family friendly. All right, so it sounds like a fun time. So you're supposed to grab the family, grab the friends, grab your blanket, grab your chair, right, Mary? Absolutely. And again, as she said, 17 downtown businesses are participating. Frankie's, Vesuvio's, Jimmy's, they'll all be open if you want to grab dinner there. Come take a seat in our Flash Park and you can listen and participate with Mikey Sosar and see a great movie, the Lego movie. What a fun movie What a, on a summer night, a good way to spend your time. Well, the weather couldn't have been better, so it's a perfect night to do just that. So remember, downtown Hazleton is officially turned on this Friday, so make sure that you get here and be part of all the festivities. 
Thanks a lot, Lisa. And I remember, I think there's meatballs on a stick available at Frankie's. I believe so. So check that out. Second Friday, a lot of good stuff going on. Well, if you're a taxpayer in the Tamaqua Area School District, get ready to pay more in school property taxes. The board's new budget will meet a 0.93 mil hike in the tax rate. That equates to about $37 more for an average home valued at $40,000. The tax hike is expected to generate an additional $274,000 for the district. This Sunday has been designated as Freeland Area Purple Heart Recognition Day in the borough of Freeland. In recognition of this special day, the community is asked to fly the American flag and to attend a special dedication ceremony to honor combat wounded veterans. The ceremony is for the dedication of a Purple Heart Monument at Freeland Public Park. The Purple Heart Project is being sponsored by Freeland American Legion Post 473 and Freeland Veterans of Foreign War Post 5010. The main speaker will be Judge Thomas J. Munley, President Judge of the Lackawanna County Court of Common Pleas and a Vietnam Combat Veteran. Congressman Lou Barletta will also be in attendance along with other local officials. Area veterans organizations will fly an array of flags on Center Street. Some Purple Heart recipients will take part in the program and all Purple Heart recipients are encouraged to attend. The dedication ceremony will take place this Sunday at 1 p.m. at Freeland Public Park. Everyone is encouraged to come out and show their support for those who were wounded while fighting for our freedom. Again, the monument dedication is this Sunday at 1 p.m. at Freeland Public Park. And now from the desk of the Banks Township Board of Supervisors. The supervisors will meet on Monday night at 6 p.m. in the community room of the Tresco Fire Company. All residents are invited to attend. And the weekend is a great time to pick up the paper, pick up your edition of the Standard Speaker and see some feature stories and local news and more. And now in the digital age, you can just roll out of bed and go to standardspeaker.com. Coming up after this break, we'll tell you where you can work out this weekend and help out some local athletes. And speaking of local athletes, we talk with musician Keith London about the sport he used to play while growing up in the Hazleton area. This is FYI News 13, brought to you by SSP-TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Hi, I'm Chuck Jumper, the golf teaching pro here at Sand Springs Golf Club, and I'm here today to help lower your handicap with the Sand Springs Golf Tip of the Week. Today's tip is on the swing plane. Now the swing plane is one of those things that a lot of golfers have a hard time understanding, and they also have a more difficult time visualizing their plane. Technically, the swing plane would be an imaginary line drawn from the ball up through my body, and then on to infinity. And whenever I swung my golf club, I have to keep the club on that same plane throughout the entire swing. Well, it's hard to see yourself do that. So one way, I've got a couple of driveway markers here, as they call them in a golf pro shop, alignment sticks. And I set them up in this pattern on the ground, one along my target line, and the other two at 90 degrees to one another and pointing at the ball. The way this can help you is if you Put a ball in that place and as you take your backswing, as you get to the top of your backswing, your lead arm for a right hander, that'll be your left arm for your left hander, that'll be your right arm, should be parallel with the back stick. That'll mean you're on plane. As you swing through to your follow through, now your trail arm is parallel with the front stick. So it's a visual you can create for yourself so you can see if you're on plane without even hitting golf balls. Lead arm on the back stick to trail arm on the front stick. If you keep the club on those lines, you'll be on plane and you'll hit it straighter. Until next time, hit them straight and far. Time now for FYI News 13 weather. Yes, this is the side of a building. No, I haven't lost my mind. This is where you can watch the Lego movie tonight during second Friday in downtown Hazleton, right on the side of Hayden Tower at the Marco building. Let's check out the forecast from the National Weather Service tonight. Mostly clear with a low around 60. Good night for a movie. And for our weekend on the extended forecast Saturday, sunny high is 81. Saturday night, a small chance of showers and thunderstorms. The low is 63. Sunday, 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms as we 
we reach 81 degrees. Sunday night will drop down to 62. Monday, an even greater chance for showers and thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy day high is 82. Monday night will keep around that chance of showers and thunderstorms. The low 66. Tuesday and Tuesday night, same with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. High of 80 Tuesday and a low of 59 on Tuesday night. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Valley High, the area's oldest ice cream and fast food restaurant. Stop on in for a cold treat including our ice cream and yogurt or some hot food including our burgers, hot dogs, fries, and much more. That's Valley High, Route 93 in West Hazleton. Treat yourself today. Big weekend for the West Hazleton Little League and Laureen Jen Domenico joins us now. Kind of a co-chair for all the events this weekend and also Laura Basic who played Little League there. Still an active volunteer with her entire family and Laureen let's start with you. Big 5k run but also walk going on and it's called the Wildcat Run. So that's big for people in West Hazleton. Talk about deciding to name it that using the Wildcat and people could get a t-shirt with the Wildcat on it too. Um, yes, actually, um, we wanted to keep it the Wildcat Run um, for the inaugural because everybody is still West Hazleton Wildcats. It's such a big thing. Um, and, of course, it's West Hazleton Sports Complex. Um, we have many times our all-star teams are blue and gold, so everybody's so partial to West Hazleton Wildcats. So that is one thing. If you do participate in the run, which begins at 8 o'clock that morning for registration, you will get a shirt and it does have the Wildcat on it as long with all the sponsors' names. And we are looking forward to that um, our you know we just decided this year to do something with fitness since there's a big twist on health conscious people and we thought fundraising and fitness just go together and that's how basically we're going to do the inaugural run and the Zumbathon together for the benefit of the West Hilton Little League. We'll talk about Zumba in a minute. The trail as well as the track actually for the run and walk through the borough of West Hazleton. So lots of West Hazleton pride. Laura, let's talk about your family. Wherever you go with West Hazleton Little League, you could find a basic volunteering. What do you kind of do? Do you work in the concession stand? Talk about why you want to give back. I work in the concession stand. I'm like I help on the field with all the guys. I want to give back because like the community gives so much to us that it's my mom always told me that to give back and never to like take from them. So and you still have two little brothers playing Little League, right? I have a little brother and an older brother. And okay, so there you go. Yeah. So still involved in the league. Now let's move. There is a Zumbathon going on as well, and it's my wife who is the Zumba instructor. You'll have a good time, trust me. You've done Zumba with my wife, Allison. Talk about it. It's, it's a dance-based exercise with international rhythms. I hope I got that right, or I'll be in trouble when I go home. <laughs> why did you enjoy it so much, and why maybe if someone's not doing the run, why should they do this? Um, well, actually, Zumba, what's great about Zumba is it puts a new spin on dance. It, it It's also like aerobic it pumps up your heart um, so many people they have to worry about their joints and running and walking so sometimes they prefer just to do the movements with the with the Zumba um, it's such an upbeat great time um, there will be a DJ there um, and it's you know it's just gonna be a great fun time an hour and a half um, basically you know you get your exercise out of the way you're helping out the community you're helping out West Hazleton Little League and um, let me tell you it's just a great fun time and Allison um, your wife with healthy rhythms um, a lot of people she has a lot of supporters and they are also going to be participating so it's just something really different and fun and we just thought you know this is the third year we have actually done the Zumbathon your wife had done in two years in the past we had it at the West Hazleton Borough Building but we thought this year we're going to have the run outside so we put out a tent hopefully the weather's going to cooperate not be too hot <laughs> and um, you know just come on down and like the Zumba starts at 10 30 and until noon and it's just going to be a great time fun time. It is like a big party, and it is a good workout. I've done it. And finally, Laura, tell us about your playing days. You played in the West Hazleton Little League. What did you like about it so much? Were you good? Tell us about your Little League playing days. I was pretty good for a girl, I guess you can say. Um, I've been at the field since I was as little as I can remember. Um, I made lifelong friends there. That will always be like my second home. I was there for like the past 15 years of my life. The West Hazleton Little League is hoping to use the funds to spruce up some of their buildings and they want to add another building to house some of their equipment. So try to help them out this weekend and say hi to my wife. Well, in tonight's community calendar, the Beaver Meadows Citizens for Recreation Summer Concert in the Park series continues this weekend. Bring your chair or blanket and your friends and family this Sunday to hear the wonderful music of the Irish Lads. The free concert will take place from 6 to 8 p.m. Sunday at Memorial Park in Beaver Meadows. 
refreshments will be available for purchase. Now here's your midday winning lottery numbers for this Friday. The daily 044 Big 4 2011, Quinto 47603 and Treasure Hunt 1, 19, 21, 28 and 29. Keith London in sports next. This is FYI News 13 Sports. So Keith London came into our studio to talk about his musical career. Very talented. You saw him on American Idol now doing a lot of shows all over the country. I'm um, really performing. And Keith, uh, Lisa Sugar told me, you know what, Keith was a very good soccer player in high school. So we're here to talk soccer today. And to tell you yeah. the truth, if I looked at you, I would say, you know what, I could see you out on the soccer pitch. T tell me about the sport, why you liked it so much? When did you get started? Um, I think I got started when I was like four or five. I played you know, the G-Y-S-H. G-H-Y-S-A. It's been a long time, it's been a long time. <laughs> you so, remember it. Uh, yeah, so I played with them, um, and then I got picked up on a travel team, um, and uh, they're called the Blue Knights. I miss, oh, I miss it so much. And then I played in high school, in middle school, in high school. I was a captain, I think, in middle school, captain in, in high school. Uh, so like 14, 15 years playing, it was awesome. So how competitive were you at the high school? Were you a competitive guy? You said you played midfield, did you, yeah. and where else did you play on the field? I played midfield and I played forward. I was, I was pretty competitive, you know. It's fun, but I like to win too, so. So when did music kind of balance with, with sports in that? When, when did the two kind of meet, or was there a balance? Or um, You know, I didn't sing until I was 18, so that's like the end of high school. So soccer ended, and... College began. I dropped sports. I played. I played tennis for two years or year and a half. I don't. I forget. But like my first year in college, and then I really focused on music after that. Do you get to play at all now? I mean, do you play in a pickup game every now and then, or is it just not not a part of your life anymore? And you wish it was. No, I wish it was. I mean, I'm playing in. Uh, I'm playing softball in San Diego. That's my only physical activity. But um, I am hopefully going to join a soccer league somewhere once I get settled, like settled, settled in a, in a city somewhere. How popular was soccer when you were growing up in this area compared to maybe even now? Um, I mean, because I played it, it probably seemed a little bit more popular, but, you know, it's, it's dying here in the country. I wish, you know, the World Cup, everyone's amped about it, but as soon as it's over, everyone's like, soccer, what? You know, but hopefully it, the World Cup could, you know, inspire younger kids to start playing and it's the next big thing. All right, so I did not know. So Keith London, very talented musician, also very talented soccer player. Thanks for sharing that with us today. Is LeBron James going back to Cleveland? Hi, everybody. On this July 11th, this is Short Shots. Well, is King James going back to the rock and roll city as a Cavalier? Maybe, but... I don't think so. Personally, I would like to see him do that, but I think he will keep his talents in South Beach. Let's review this past week, which has been a real eggplant, meaning slow. Locally, five Hazel and area Lady Cougars were named to the All-State softball team. Maria Tribal Pizza Jr. was named first team All-State for her second straight year. She played second base and hit 486. Lexi Walk, as a junior, played center field and hit 467, first team All-State. Also, Celine Podlesny, as a sophomore, hit 411 as a designated hitter and pitched a 13-1 record with an ERA of 0.97. First team All-State, Abby Sachs, a junior outfielder, hit 534. She was second team All-State. And Mackenzie Ori, a sophomore, third baseman, hit 384. Good enough for All-State honorable mention. Kudos to the Fab Five and congrats to the entire team. The Lady Cougars finished their season at 22-3, which included a WVC Division I championship and a District II and four Class A, 4A championship. And uh, wait till next year. Unbelievable. What else? Germany humbled Brazil in Brazil in the World Cup soccer semifinal. The score was 7-1. That would be 49-7 in football, at least. And Argentina defeated the Netherlands after 120 minutes. The score was still nothing-nothing. Argentina won on a penalty kicks after the... OT period. So it will be Germany and Argentina at 1 p.m. on Sunday in the final. Will I watch it? I don't think so. Germany will win and I will be glad when it's over. Kenny Cara and Andy Fisher are trying to get me fired up. I'm trying, but the only way that I would watch a nothing-nothing soccer game for two solid hours would be if I was strapped to a hospital bed in ICU. Mother of God! 
Sorry, boys, but I, uh, I'm still working on it. Yankees rookie sensation pitcher Masahiro Tanaka is on the DL out indefinitely. The reason I, I feel spending 30 mil a season on a pitcher is absolutely ridiculous, except for maybe uh, Clayton Kershaw of the Dodgers. The LA Clippers owner Donald Sterling vows that he will never, ever sell the Clippers and promises years of lawsuits against the NBA. It looks like he means business. And finally, a Yankee fan is trying to sue the Yankees for $10 million because he was shown close up on TV as he was sleeping in his seat at a baseball game. He showed up on the big screen at Yankee Stadium and he even made the Daily News newspaper. Does he have a case? I don't think so. But strange things keep happening. See you Monday. Till then, stay loose. So the World Cup Final is this weekend. We'll be at Sammy's Bar on 2nd Street in Hazleton, and we will try to have Ron Marchetti there strapped in a hospital bed. And while he's there, you can wear your Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James jerseys and just remind him that he was wrong at least about that prediction right there. That's the sports cast for tonight. We'll be right back. Be happy, it's Friday, and go to Bottlenecks for half-price happy hour starting at 6 p.m. They have live music and half-price appetizers. Good evening, everyone, and here's tonight's Talk of the Town report. One quick announcement. Holy Trinity Orthodox Church in McAdoo will be holding an ethnic food sale Saturday, July 12th and Sunday, July 13th. Traditional food will be available, such as halupki, progis, halushki, and much more. Eat-in and takeout available. For more information, please call 570-929-2733. At tonight's Talk of the Town. News 13 would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Sister M. Ignatia Clatch, formerly of Hazleton. Mass is Saturday at 11 a.m. at the Misericordia Center Chapel in New York. Friends may call from 10 to 11 a.m. Arrangements are under the direction of the Keffer Funeral Home. Dolores Kessler of Clares. Mass is Tuesday at 11 a.m. in the Church of All Saints in McAdoo. Friends may call Tuesday from 10 to 11 a.m. The Stanley E. Analoski Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Claire Bonner, formerly of Hazleton. Funeral is Saturday at 9.15 a.m. from the Boyle Funeral Home. Friends may call Saturday from 8.30 to 9.15 a.m. William J. Burrell of Drums. Services will be held Monday at 9.30 a.m. at the McCune Funeral Home. Friends may call Sunday from 4 to 7 p.m. Sandra Bullock, formerly of York. No services are planned. The Cropton Hughes Funeral Home is assisting the family from the Hazel Chapel. Howard C. Pfeiffer II of Hazleton. Services are Monday at 5 p.m. at the Melbourne Funeral Home. Friends may call from 3 to 5 p.m. Linda D. Gronsky of Tresco. No services are planned. The Cropton Hughes Funeral Home is assisting the family. And Deborah Morrison. Memorial is Sunday at 5 p.m. at the West Hazleton Trinity Lutheran Church. Tonight's obituaries have been brought to you by the Smilax Floral Shop located on 15th Street in Hazleton. Call Smilax for all of your special events, 570-454-0111. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name right now in News 13, you'll have 13 minutes to call in and win a free movie from Service Electric Cablevision. Our winner tonight is Wesley Horton of Cunningham. Wesley, if you're watching, give us a call right now, 570-459-9013 to win your free movie. You're really going to want to watch FYI Weekend tomorrow at 9 a.m. You'll hear a story about a young man who helped out a local fire department. And in sports, we have a story about wrestling, Hollywood, and a building where a local man hopes to build dreams in downtown Hazleton. We'll see you on Saturday. Until then, take it easy and go to Second Friday.